introduction to compiler here what is the role of a compiler so let us assume suppose two persons are there one person will speak in english and the other person is going to speak in telugu he doesn't know english and he doesn't know telugu so how they can't communicate with each other there is a communication problem between them they can understand only one language each person so we need a translator we need a other person called translator who translates both the languages means that person should know both the languages so that he can translate to both the people to communicate very easily similarly here in our dot net c sharp language is a high level language and our system can understand only machine language that is binary language so this particular thing our application cannot directly execute so here to execute our application we need a compiler compiler what does it do compiler it is nothing but a it is a translator which converts the programming language instructions to the machine language so what is the role of this compiler what does the compiler will do compiler will do ip there is a cycle called ipo cycle that is input process output i stands for input p stands for process and o stands for output so what does it do the compiler it will take the programming language instructions as the input and process it and at last what does it do it provides us the output so here we have a compiler we are going to write in one programming language one here each and every programming language will have its own compiler suppose here this programming language is written in c sharp dot net so here c s c is the compiler of c sharp dot net and the second programming language is written in the vb dot net visual basic so here vb c is the compiler so here each and every language will have its own compiler to compile the particular uh, programming language c sharp language csc compiler will convert the high level language c sharp language into the machine language and here vbc will convert the high, uh, vb language into the machine languages so here totally compiler is in nothing but it is a translator between the high level language and the low level language let us see a class in c sharp dot net here we have this is a class we have a class is a keyword here what are the components we are going to have we are having a class keyword and class name and main method and console dot write line so here the first one is for creating a class we need a keyword we have to use a keyword called class class is a keyword class person this is a person is the class name for 
creating the class name we have some meaningful rules for that we have naming conversions of this class name what is that the class name should be first and foremost thing is the class name should be a meaningful name and it should be noun and we can write the class name as camel case we can use camel case or pascal case pascal case is nothing but the first letter of the word should be capital and remaining a small and instead of uh, using pascal case you can use camel case like first letter will be small my and person will be in the next letter the starting word will be capital this is called camel case and this is called a pascal case and these are the naming conversions of the class and we have some rules to define this that is it is mandatory that each and first letter should be starting with the alphabet we can use here digits 0 to 9 and a special character underscore but at the first initially you can't use a class name which will be starting with the digits or underscore it must and should start with the alphabets only and next second thing is if you want any space at that space you have to use the underscore symbol suppose person name suppose i want to create class name as person name so there should not be any space between here instead of space we have to use the underscore symbol and next one is a class name cannot be a keyword we sh should not use keywords as the class name suppose here class is a keyword if is a keyword so we cannot use the keywords as the class name these are the rules which we have to follow for the naming conversions and these are the rules which we have to follow for giving the name of the class whatever might be name of the class or variable anything you have to follow this naming conversions and next thing is rules for the class name and next we have main method main method it is the we can say entry point of the application is the main method the compiler for it first searches for the main method to start the application the uh, we have a open brace and this we call it as a close brace so the entry point is the open brace and the exit point will be the close brace the main method is used to create the objects for the other class and we can invoke the other class attributes and methods in the main method and next here we have system dot console dot right line so what does this mean system is here namespace in this namespace we have a class called console class and this in this console we have a right line method here right line is the predefined method system dot console dot right line system is a namespace console is a class name and right line is a predefined method this is namespace class and predefined method so what does this predefined method right line will do right line will print the welcome statement on the screen to print the welcome statement on the screen we are writing system dot console dot right line system dot console dot right line so this is about the class and the naming conversions and rules which we have to follow for the naming conversions and next we have a main method which is predefined method for each and without main method you can't execute an application main method is mandatory and inside the main method we are writing to print the welcome statement on the screen for that we are using system dot console dot right line so apart from this system dot console dot right line we have many predefined methods called console dot write method console dot right line method console dot read method read line and next console dot clear method so what is the difference between write and write line write line write is used to display the in, uh, message on the screen and it will not go to the new line and right line method it will display the message on the screen and the cursor will move to the next line or you can say new line and next console dot read console dot read here it reads each and every character and console dot read line next we have console dot clear to clear the screen so all these are predefined methods which are present in the system namespace structure of a program here using system using system is the namespace using system is the 
name space so here what is name space uh, like in languages like in c language c++ language we call it as a header files so same as like header files in dot net we call it as a name space using system is the name space using is the keyword system is the class which is present in it so here and the next one is namespace project name so whatever the application you are going to develop that particular name will be present here in the namespace and project name and next as we are saying c sharp dot net is object oriented programming language so in this structure in each and every application the class will be present here class is a like you can say building block of the program is class in each and every application class will be present here class program instead of program the class name can be anything and here inside the program you have a main method so here public static void main string argument string arguments is optional parameter let us discuss about the string arguments in the later class and here in what does the method contain method contain set of statements here main method is the entry point of the application and here we have uh, open brace and close braces we can call it as open delimiter and this one we can call it as close delimiter when we open the project in the c sharp the default structure of the application will be this one apart from using system you will be having several namespace depending on the application which application you are going to develop you can add any number of namespaces like you will be having this using system.io namespace using system.data.sql client using system.data so th all these namespaces you have to include it will be totally depending on the application which you are going to develop based on that you can add the namespace and next uh, project name and class program next public static void main method and this is the default structure of your c sharp program exploring the ide so to develop the dot net applications we can use the ide ide what is ide ide is nothing but integrated development environment integrated development environment here we have two types of ides ide is to de integrated development environment to develop the applications we have text editor and the other one is graphical editor we have text editor and graphical editor text editor we can do the applications in notepad and graphical editor we can develop the applications in microsoft visual studio and now currently we are using 2012 so microsoft graphical editor is microsoft visual studio 2012 and text editor is notepad so when you are using the notepad you have to save the file with .cs as the extension you have to save the file with dot cs you have to give the extension cs is nothing but c sharp and here in the graphical editor microsoft visual studio 2012 we have solution explorer what is this solution explorer all the projects whatever the projects you are going to develop that will be your total project lie in the solution explorer and instead of going out and again you have to open the new project you can in the solution explorer you can store multiple projects in it and but you can only run one project at a time but you can store multiple projects in the solution explorer and here we are going to develop the c sharp applications that is c, uh, by using the c sharp programming language we are going to develop the console applications so what is this console applications so console applications is nothing but these are c ui applications that is character user interface applications here in this c ui applications we have to write everything manually and these are used for the testing purpose and the output of the console applications you are going to see in the command prompt we are going to see the output in the command prompt